excited. I'm here with the one and only Anthony Kalia. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very well. Good to have you back here in the Thank studio. You. Of course, last time you were here, you just finished Idol. Your single Prayer came out. Mm -hmm. Now, just quickly, well, not quietly or quickly, but Prayer is like the highest selling Australian single by an Australian artist. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you've overtaken <laughs> Guy Sebastian's reign. Yeah. That's a big thing. Be excited, Anthony. <laughs> it's a good thing. Now, your new single's out at the moment. It's called Rain. And yep. what's it all about? Um, it's virtually just coming to terms with something that you've lost in the past. Mm, bit of a sentimental, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of a sloppy kind of you know, romantic thing. Let's have a look at your video clip. I thought I played it hard to get Pretend I'm unapproachable But somebody else came along and Took all the chances that I missed there you go, this is rain. I like it actually. It's different from the prayer, isn't it? Yeah, I like to do different things. Yeah, now your album's out at the moment. Tell me what it was like putting that all together. Yeah, I recorded that over about two months mm -hmm. um, in and out of the studio and I think the one thing that got me through it was a jar of red skins and fan towels every day. You've got to have that sugar hit, don't you? Absolutely. It's not good for the voice, but um, they got me through. And was it a <laughs> gruelling process? Were you there day and night like some artists, you know, they talk Yeah, about sometimes that. you do like 10 hours a day in a booth. So yeah, by the end of the day you're quite, you're quite tired, but you know, I'm loving it. And it's paid off because let me tell you, you've become to this huge star. You've done so many cool things, yeah. such as meeting uh, Prince Princess Mary and Prince Frederick. Yes. And what was that like? Was it just... Yeah, it was such an honour to be there, I think, just to be in the same room. Mm. Um, and yeah, and to be able to perform alongside like Delta and Olivia Newton-John. That would have yeah. been cool. And of course, you sung the national anthem at a big event to the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix. Does every artist dream of that? Yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things that, you know, it's great to do and it's great to be asked to do mm. and just to know that it's watched worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. And what's life been like for you ever since the album's been out and you've been doing so many different things, it's changed so much for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it's great. I've, I've been able to get around the country and, mm -hmm. and do a few in-stores and things like that and meet the fans, which has been great. And do your fans really go crazy? Do you get girls just screaming, Anthony? I have great fans, yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's <laughs> nice. I bet most of them are girls, though. There's quite a few. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's the good looks and the good hair and everything. It just all matches. And do you still keep in contact with um, Casey and Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Casey and I um, catch up when we can and, yeah, we speak on the phone. Because you're both busy people now, aren't yes. you? Yes. It must yeah. be hard, yeah. Do you get any spare time to do any anything else? Yeah, when I've got some spare time, I make, uh, spare time, I make sure that I catch up with friends and mm. family and, yeah, so try and do the normal things. And yeah. yeah, excellent. Now, I was reading something about you that you said um, you're so glad you did become an artist because you're not really good at anything else. Yep. Is that true? Yep. I'm good at eating. <laughs> oh, eating. Of course, my people are good at that. So are you really glad you became an artist? Because Yeah, I think that's the only thing that I can sort of do. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were young, you kind of decided, that's what I'm going to do. And Yeah, from the age of five, I sort of said to my parents, you know, I want to do singing. So they sent me singing lessons, and here I am. Now, this is a bit of a tricky question. If you weren't on Idol, if Idol didn't exist, where do you think you'd be today? I'd probably be sitting in lectures in uni. <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's quite different. Well, we're glad Idol existed and so do you. Now, uh, can you stick around for a bit, Anthony? Because sure. we've got a bit of a challenge for you. It involves food. Cool. Which you're good at. I look forward to cool. it. Cool. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>